Okay, cool. This talk is called Python Faster Than C, asterisk, because terms and conditions may apply, because, you know, uh, promotions are like that. This is like the evil version of uh, Juan Luis talk. I am going to do exactly the opposite of what he did. I am going to use all the alternatives he did like, and I am doing. I am going to use them all in five minutes. So let's see what happens. Um, first, what do we need in order to make uh, a language as fast as possible? Well, the first thing you need is for that language to be really slow. So what we need is some really, really very bad Python like this. This is a function that was given to me by Juan Pedro Fisanotti. I would never write such a thing, uh, and neither would he. This is intentional, which calculates the Fibonacci series using recursion, which means that it has a time complexity of 2 to the n, which means every time you go one number higher, it takes twice as long. So as soon as you get to a 30-something num, it takes a really long time to finish. And if you get it to 100, it will never finish. That's the way it works. And then we have the same thing in C, which is exactly the same code, except with more braces and fewer columns. But it's exactly the same code. So, which one is faster? I took the version in C, I compiled it, I took the time it takes to calculate uh, the Fibonacci number 35, and it takes 0 0.07 seconds, which is pretty fast. How much does the Python version take? It takes 3.33 seconds, which is around 50 times slower, which really sucks, because that means the title of this talk is a total lie, and I don't want to lie, so I need to make this better and faster. We could always fix the bad Python code, right? But where's the fun in that? Because after all, if we fix the bad Python code, we could also fix the bad C code, and we are going to be in the same place, and C is still going to be faster. So, and besides, this talk is about making your code fast, not about making your code good. For that, go to school, learn something. I mean, watch Juan Luis talks. He makes your code better. I, I only make it faster. So, I know, we could use MyPyC. Probably nobody here has heard about MyPyC. MyPyC is not very popular. It comes with MyPy, the thing you use for type, Python type hints. And what it does is, if you run MyPyC and the number, of, the name of a module, it will turn it into C and compile it and create a dynamic library, which, when, when placed in the same place as your module, will have preference over it, it will have priority. So when you try to use the module, it will use the native code instead of your Python code. And that makes it faster. If you do these two commands, you have not modified your code. Your code is still Python. Your code is exactly the same code. You haven't changed anything except the way you use it. And now your code takes 1.57 seconds, which is, eh, well, it's faster. It's twice as fast, but C is still 22 times faster, which really sucks. Not so much as 50 times faster, but still sucks. So my PyC is not the solution, at least not here. You can try it. It's free. So go ahead and use it. I know we can use PyPy. PyPy is an alternative implementation of Python, which is written in Python, and it's actually faster than the Python that's written in C, which would mean Python is already faster than C, at least for running Python. But in any case, we can do the same thing. Instead of using Python, we use PyPy, and we try to calculate Fibonacci 35 and see what happens. And it takes 0 0.36 seconds, which is even a lot faster than my PyC, which turns things into C. But, you know, C is still five times faster. So this still sucks, but a little. It it's just sucks a little. It's not so bad, but it still sucks a little. We, we can make it better than this. I know, Cython. You may have heard in Juan Luis, Juan Luis talk that Cython is different. You have to change your code. You have two languages. But a little known feature of Cython is that if your code has type hinting, it can actually compile native Python code into native C code without changing your code. You can just call Cython i slash 3 dash i the name of your Python module, and it will create a, stand, a library that's actually compiled C, which is dynamic and has priority over your, over your own code, and it will actually be used if you do import the name of your, of your module. And that's actually faster than MyPyC and faster than PyPy. How much faster? It actually takes 0 0.05 seconds to calculate Fibonacci 35 which is actually faster than C. It's 40% faster than C, which means that this sucks for C. It doesn't suck for Python, because in this case, we have just made Python faster than C. Just like I promised in the beginning of, the, of this talk, 
as long as you don't use the optimization flag when you are compiling your C. And that's five minutes. <laughs>